An Austin plastic surgeon is using new technology to help patients decide whether cosmetic surgery is right for them. All new at 6, KBU's Jim Bergamo is here to show us how it works. Jim? Terry Tyler, that technology involves 3D imaging, and after the after images are so good, it's usually clear to the patients of one Austin surgeon whether they want to proceed with cosmetic surgery. When your birthday comes in. Brianna Cruz is just two months away from her 16th birthday, a day sure to be filled with lots of photos. A lot of teenagers are all about their looks and taking pictures and having memories, so I kind of don't want to have to worry about my nose and pictures. And What's not to like? I think this part's too narrow. And, then... and Brianna knows just the kind of nose she wants. So who's this, Jessica Alba? Okay, tell me what you like about her nose. I like how it's perfectly straight. With her parents' permission, Brianna consulted with board-certified plastic surgeon Jennifer Walden. But more than Walden's words, it's the new 3D imaging technology in her office that's helped Brianna decide cosmetic surgery is for her. Look up a little. Walden is the first plastic surgeon in Austin to use the Vector 3D camera. I think from the standpoint of imaging technology, this is the biggest thing we've seen. It's an exciting new technology that really can help with preoperative planning, managing patient expectations, and showing prospective patients what they'll look like before the first incision is even made. The Vector 3D takes three simultaneous photos of the patient. Then in just a matter of minutes, almost like sand filling an hourglass in reverse, those photos begin forming a three-dimensional image of the patient on the computer monitor. Before we could do um, very little as far as we could show before and afters to patients. We could, we could morph or change a two-dimensional profile view and take the bump off of a nose, for example, but we couldn't change the entire nose in three dimensions and then show that result to a patient. The Vector 3D allows Dr. Walden to alter the image in 3D, thus giving prospective patients a more realistic view of what they'll look like after surgery from multiple viewpoints at that. No matter what the angle, Brianna likes what she sees. It kind of made me really excited to see what I'm going to look like later, and um, it helped me figure out like what all is wrong and what needs to be fixed and how they're going to do it. Again, we'd like to stress Brianna has the blessing of both of her parents to have that surgery. And Dr. Walden says by the age of 16, most girls' ears and noses are fully grown. So cosmetic surgery at that age for those areas is acceptable. And Terry Tyler, we've set up a link to the Vector 3D at Dr. Walden's website at the end of this story on KVU.com. Okay, Jim, thanks so much.